The Unimog U300 is mainly used by municipalities and as a special vehicle is upgradable. In Europe, it's environmentally friendly, thanks to Bluetech 5. To get access to the differential, remove the axle. Eight screws hold a crown wheel to the housing. One of the screws is a dowel screw. In order to give the differential more stability, replace three of the conventional screws with dowel screws. Remove all screws except for the existing dowel screw. Mark the correct installation position. Use the zero at the edge of the crown wheel as a reference point. This is aligned with the dowel screw. Now you can remove it. Using a rubber hammer, loosen the crown wheel from the housing. Drilling chips fall into the casing, so be sure to remove all the bevel gears. Put the differential back on without the bevel gears and shafts. Pay attention to the correct installation position. Put four screws in the housing, moving outward from the dowel screw. Leave three screws away. This is where the new dowel screws will be. Tighten the nuts hand tight. And then go over to the drill. Make sure to use the appropriate boring mill. Otherwise bring the differential to a tool and die shop. Secure the differential. Place a reamer in the drill chuck. When drilling, always wear safety glasses. Incidentally, all drilling work is done with 100 revolutions per minute without cooling. Even the pre-reaming is done with a speed of 100 revolutions per minute. For the reaming of the crown wheel and differential case, the drill should be set to at least 45 millimeters. To finish ream, use this reamer. Never adjust the position of the drill chucks or differential because the reamer and drill are set exactly. The speed stays the same. The depth is again set to at least 45 millimeters. Repeat the process for the two other holes. Remove the reamer and then remove all the screws and turn the differential over. Drill all eight holes with a 12.6 millimeter drill bit. and a depth of 20 millimeters. Now put in the countersinker. It has a diameter of 12.5 millimeters. Do the same on all eight holes so that the nuts are flush. Here are the three dowel screws. Renew the nuts too. Renew the other screws as well and tighten with 105 newton meters of torque. Once you've replaced the bearings, the differential can be reinstalled.